Hey y'all, happy Tuesday. This is Octavius the Great. Um, coming with y'all with a quick video. Um, I took a clip from 17 Soldier the Six. I hope I'm saying your Instagram right. Uh, I took this video from this page. I want to discuss it. Basically, the um, video is this lady uh, basically recording her baby father getting pulled over, but come to find out he was in the car with a transsexual and stuff like that. She going in and everything like that, just like saying all type of stuff. And, you know, I just want y'all to take a look, and then I'll speak on it after the fact. All right, y'all, check it out. All right, here we go. Look at Jay West with this punk that got a touch. <laughs> Did y'all see that video? Now, wasn't that crazy? Wasn't that insane? <laughs> she come on here. His name is Jay West. His name is Jay West. And, you know, he in the car with a punk. He in the car with a punk. And you know what? Overall, you know, um, I think the situation is stupid for real, for real. Yes, baby mother, yes. You may be angry. You may be upset. He is a waste of a human being. A waste of a human being. But you laid with this man. And you said kids, not one kid, not a child. You said kids, so you had more than one. So you gonna have most definitely more proof than enough that he wasn't, uh, he was a waste of a human being. But my thing is, what type of person does that says about you? You know, you sat up here doing all this hollering and yelling about what type of man he is, and and he. Uh, he, he might be running run his name and name Jaquel West and stuff like that. Are you, you know, I just think it overall stupid because people want to sit up here and uh, want to dog the person they have children with, but this is a person you chose to lay down with, and half the time, y'all don't even know the people that y'all land with anyway. Most of, these, most of us 
you know, are either one night stand babies or even even other situations that most people don't want to talk about, you know. So I just think overall that everybody needs to just get real a little bit about themselves. I know it's difficult. I know that, you know, we all got our own insecurities, but overall, like if people were able to just live live their life and live their truth wouldn't be so much issues for real, for real. You know, I feel sorry for the man for getting arrested because <laughs> Because one, that not only embarrassing, but it seemed like you were doing something else in that car because the girl said uh, um, the, the transsexual had a, uh, had some dust on, on her forehead and stuff like that. I just like the fact the way that the girl was just going in, just going, going, going. And a lot of you women do that, you know, even when it ain't your situation, you know. Y'all said they go in and go so hard, uh, go so hard against... Uh, Gay dudes or bisexual dudes, y'all want to keep on hollering about the DL and stuff like that. Yes, them, those things are true, but it's time to stop hollering about that. Because at the end of the day, if if you have not paid attention in the last 15 years since that term came out, your fault. Because at the end of the day, you can Google somebody. You know, if you're not going to do it, don't complain about it. Because at the end of the day, we all have done stuff with people that we don't know. Meet somebody in the club and just get with them. Shoot, you don't know if they got a disease, if they crazy, or if they're going to kill you and stuff like that. We all take that type of chance in our lives. So I just find it to be also just dumb, just be gone. He a waste of a human being. And no shade, and no shade. I always be them fat, chunky, hood, ghetto boogers, or just them hood boogers that sit up here, get with these dudes because you, you like how he look and stuff like that, but you don't know nothing about him. So get mad with yourself. Nobody told you to have kids, multiple kids with different dudes or the same dude who ain't worth nothing. That's your decision. So, I, I just want to say, live your life, male or female, because everybody wants to sit up here and fake the funk. If you like men, go for it. you like women, go for it. If you like both, go for it. Like, who you got to sit up here and impress and just don't waste your time sitting here living a lie, having kids and doing all these things if you know they ain't a part of your lifestyle and stuff like that. Or you ain't with somebody who's understanding, you know, or who is at least sexually fluid as you, you know. It like, it's, it's, it's so much hell for black men to be stuck in many boxes. You got to be masculine. You got to be this. You better not be gay. Oh, you can, uh, don't be too smart. You got, like, it's just like... Be smart, but oh, you can't be too smart, what not, because they're not hood enough. Be hood, but don't be too hood and what not, because you ain't trying to go to jail, you know. Uh, try to live a straight life and stuff like that. That stuff is dumb, you know. Like, so many people out here out here, still doing whatever they want to damn do, so I don't even know why we trying to listen to anybody rules or anything like that, because at the end of the day, it hasn't helped none of us, because, shoot, look at our parents. Who know what all type of stuff they have done and stuff like that. They probably do the same sneaker stuff that we have done. So, I need for people to wake up and get real about that. I want y'all to also give me your thoughts and comments about that, because at the end of the day, a lot of people feel this way. I don't care how many gay friends that you that people say they have or how many gay people they say they have in their family. Because at the end of the day, people, people fake their phone. It's cool until it's... Damn, and they want to sit here and be disrespectful and try to dog and stuff like that. And then another thing a lot of us need to do, especially, you know, if you're gay like me and stuff like that, quit letting people sit up here and say certain terms around. Yeah, you may feel the way about a certain person or not, but we still uh, have the power to, hey, don't say that around me. You say whatever you want when, um, when uh, I'm not around, but don't say certain things like that. Because at the end of the day, you feel like you're comfortable to be disrespectful. Who knows when that disrespect will come my way. So a lot of y'all, in my opinion, is better. Um, a lot of y'all dudes need to uh, stop being afraid and start living y'all lives for real so y'all won't get caught up in situations like that. Because there's too many men out here having all these children, but y'all know y'all really like men. And y'all know y'all re oh, y'all like both. Don't be ashamed of it because at the end of the day, if you really that dude and you really man about your stuff, can't nobody beat you. It's your truth. And if somebody want to sit here and, and dog and drag you over, don't worry about it. Because nine times out of ten, most people who be running all their mouth, just think about all the people who ran their mouth when we were younger about sexuality and certain things. And then you get older and find out, oh, you've been sucking and doing stuff too. 
you should have kept on low or y'all had a little click. But, you know, sometimes people are, are more open, more free looking, and you want to pick on there because you can't be that. Because people won't let you, you won't let yourself be that way. So at the end of the day, live your life. It's difficult, but live your life. You'll be happier. We all on that path of trying to live our truth. I'll say that. We're trying to live our truth. You know, it's a long journey at times. Some people are shorter, but at the end of the day, as long as you on that path, go for it. You know, stop worrying about what other people are saying because we made it to adulthood. Now, if I want to put my stuff, put my stuff in a grown adult, male or female, that's my choice. Why are you worried about it? Same thing about y'all. Know who you messing with. Don't get mad, cause especially you in some something new. You don't know this person for a can of paper. You ain't taking time to research. So if this person over is this man that slept with a man, don't get mad about it. If you're a woman that slept with a woman, I, like I said, I don't understand what the madness is about. Yeah, like all this stuff is perfect. I, like ain't nobody perfect out here. So you know, just enjoy yourself and live your life. So at the end of the day, y'all, I just want y'all to comment, share, and tell me your thoughts about that. I hope I gave a good commentary about it and stuff like that. If not, you know, you give your comment shit, you know. But at the end of the day, people, stop worrying about all this stuff. And all you little hood burger, boogers, stop it. Stop it because I'm so tired of hearing you loud ghetto folks always screaming about gay, 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 gay. When ain't nobody screaming about are you taking care of your kids? How many, how many baby fathers do you have and stuff like that? Oh, bitch, you was dyking. Those type of things happen. Like at the end of the day, when people sit here want to throw shade, throw that shit back at them too because all this is is words. Why are you worried about it? We're adults, you know. Yeah, she just probably mad in a way because, you know, she ain't getting none no more. No matter how much the dead be a person there, some people still want their baby father or whoever. So I'll leave it at that. All right, y'all. Have a nice time for them. Get back to cleaning. All right. I'll tell you, Mr. Great is out.